Hey guys, new platform, new me. I'm Johnny Ray, Johnny Ray of the Mountains, coming to you where Johnny Ray began. Our lives are a story. We all start somewhere. And here's mine. A lot of you have asked me, where did Johnny Ray originate? Why Johnny Ray? Why Johnny Ray of the Mountains? Well, first off, my first name's Jonathan, my middle name's Ray. So, Jonathan Ray just seems a little bit too much. So, Johnny Ray was born. Johnny is spelled J-O-N-N-Y. For those of you that spell it with an H, you're very much wrong. And it offends me when people spell Jonathan with an extra H. So, why would I include an H in Johnny? But, whatever, it is what it is. It's Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray of the Mountains. The Mountains, the Appalachia Mountains. If you're saying Appalachia wrong, we going to fight. But it's okay. Some of you just aren't from the Appalachia Mountains. And you say it incorrectly because you just don't know any better. And it's okay. Because we all have a story. And your story is different than my story. I'm going to tell you several stories in the next couple of videos, and I do have quite a few videos planned. This is spawning from a podcast that I started, The Disappointment Diaries of Johnny Ray of the Mountains. This is still The Disappointment Diaries of Johnny Ray of the Mountains, just in a different platform, a little bit easier to manage platform in my honest opinion. That being said, welcome to my old friends. Welcome to my new friends. Today, I'm drinking tea from Starbeast. It's okay, because you never know what's in my cup. I don't know what's in your cup. Your cup could be full of anxiety and disappointment. But sometimes, we take that anxiety and disappointment, and we make something out of it. Thus, the reason the Disappointment Diaries were born. Imagine three years ago, the world started a down slope into the COVID pandemic. We weren't allowed into grocery stores. We weren't allowed to go to the gym. Schools were closed. I, being a math teacher, well, my classes went to Zoom. We were told you can't give any more grades as of March, like, 20th. But we got kicked out, like, March 3rd or something, March 5th, some time in the beginning of March. We weren't allowed to do anything. We were supposed to stay home for two weeks. Two weeks ended up being a year, and it was rough. It was rough for us all. So one day, I, sad that I couldn't do anything, couldn't go to the gym because the gym was closed. Um, there were very limited number of people out in the grocery store. Um, I went for a drive. And I drove. And in these mountains that I live in, I found a spot. And that spot is where I come to you today. It's where Johnny Ray of the Mountains began on Snapchat. From Snapchat, I went to Spotify and Google Podcasts because I was a little bit too lazy to do the necessary stuff for Apple Podcasts, so I never got around to that, but it is what it is, and here I am today coming to you on YouTube because TikTok just doesn't give me enough time to tell you everything I got to tell you, and I'm already sitting at four minutes, but that's okay because this is a... The origin story of Johnny Ray. The story in which I began. This little spot I'm about to show you is just on the side of the road on a mountain pass to Sugar Grove. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's a mountain pass on its way to Sugar Grove. Um, essentially, it's the valley road that takes you to Sugar Grove so you don't have to go over a mountain to get to Sugar Grove, but you're essentially going through 
a mountain and a valley to get there instead of a mountain and another mountain to get there from where I live. But that being said, this mountain pass has a little side scenic location that I can just look at. Um, it's a, a lot's changed in three years, I will admit. There's um, a tree down, pretty sad, but it looks like it's been cut down. But here in the mountains, sometimes they just fall down and you just go with it. But that being said, I'm going to make my face disappear for a moment and give you a little bit of a view of where Johnny Ray began. This little mountain pass, valley road that, actually I'm just looking, I keep on looking over there because it's really pretty, but I'm going to show you the scenic overlook. All right, so, you know. All right, guys, this is where Johnny Ray began. This little scenic overlook, looking over somebody's trash heap. I promise you it wasn't like that when I started coming here, recording the Gianni Ray. Someone's cut down some trees, which is totally expected this time of the year. Definitely if the tree has fell recently. But that being said, this is where it all began. I'm gonna walk over this tree heap. I don't know what's living in this tree heap. But if it's anything that can make me unalive, it's okay. Ugh. Oh, well, that was a lot more satisfying than it needed to be. As you can see, this is where Johnny Ray began. There's a nice little path that goes down the hill here, but I'm not going to go down there. It's a little steep. And as you can possibly see, there's a lake of sort or river over there. Not a lot of people get to see this because I don't usually bring people out to my spot in which Johnny Ray began. Most of my podcast interviewees were done in their kitchen, but it is what it is. So, um, just so you can see the road in which Johnny Ray began, when we were not allowed to go into places due to COVID and such, I was just driving down this road right here and located this little place to park my vehicle, opened up Snapchat, and just talked. So, um, I did find this piece of wood, and soon, in a future video, you'll know what I'm going to do with this piece of wood. So, back to me. Now, uh, okay, let's see if I can hear that. There we go. Now, is Johnny Ray of the Mountains or the Disappointment Diaries gained a little popularity? I uh, ended up having to find a little bit better location to film my snap story. Um, and <laughs> it was about Christmas time at that point, and I'd got an advent calendar. And I'm not wearing a seatbelt, but I should probably put that on. But anyway, that being said, <laughs> you're going to get full unedited here. Um, so I had to find a place closer to where I lived so that Johnny Ray of the Mountains Disappointment Diaries were a little bit easier to film and, um, you know, just in general be safer to drive home. Um, so, after scouring the neighborhood in which I live in and other little locations here and there, I uh, ended up finding a nice little dead-end road um, and where I could look out into the trees and hopefully see a deer or a trash panda or something similar to 
you know, make me happy because we're still in the middle of a pandemic here. All right. Um, and, you know, we stuff was not opening up at this time. We were still pretty much closed. I, at the time that COVID closed things, I'd been going to the gym almost every day and then bam, stopped. You can't go. You'll get people sick. You'll get sick. And for our safety, we were unable to go to the gym. Um, the grocery stores were opening up a little bit more. They were, in our area at least, giving older uh, patrons a different time to go uh, grocery shopping than everybody else. So to help limit the spread of COVID-19. So, you know, we realized that we needed food. And for that to occur, we did give the opportunity to older individuals um, to have their own specific time to go shop. Um, I've already said once I was a math teacher and we were still very much limited on how much time we were allowed with our students. We were not in the building. We were still teaching at home at this time uh, when I needed a new location. Um, also at this point I was I went back to the grocery store that I worked at um, since we had gotten out in about March I, there was a lot of iffiness if we were getting paid and all that so I ended up just getting my a job at the grocery store that I worked at in high school um, and I stayed there for about a year and a half longer than I was anticipating, but that's nothing. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, slowly, it sapped out all enjoyment out of my life, so I ended up quitting. But at that point, I was also teaching online courses again uh, on top of uh, well, you know the math teaching I was doing for my own students. I was teaching college courses and other math courses because I'm a math teacher. I, I just teach math. That's literally all I know what to do. Um, but that being said, I needed a new location somewhere a lot closer to home and I found it. And I'm currently driving in that area right now so you can just get a glimpse of where most of the more recent Johnny Ray snap stories were filmed. Um, I'm going away from that. Um, uh, most of my Johnny Ray disappointment diaries are going to come here. Um, so you got that to look forward to. Um, I'm pretty excited. Definitely as it's taken me three years to get to where I am now with the technology. Um, and with, you know, just me being living my best life right now. Um, I am able to make wise decisions, more wise than I was able to three years ago. A uh, lot better mental, uh, mental health is a lot better than it was. Um, things are opening up or have opened up. Um, we've been able to go maskless, which, you know, in three years... A lot's happened in three years. A lot more than I can remember and like to think about again. So, but that being said, let's just move away from the fact that we were living the nightmare that was COVID-19. Um, and let's talk a little bit more about my story. So, as I am driving to my other location... A few little fun facts about me. One, I graduated from a small liberal arts college in Southwest Virginia in the year 2012. In the year 2012, I um, got my first and only teaching position and I have been teaching at that location ever since. I have at this point have taught Algebra 1 Algebra 2, Geometry, Trigonometry, Advanced Mathematics, Pre-Cal 1, Pre-Cal 2, Applied Calculus 1, Statistics 1, 
probability and statistics, quantitative reasoning, statistical reasoning, and last but not least, algebra functions and data analysis. I am well-rounded in my mathematical knowledge. I eventually decided that having a Bachelor of Science degree in math education was only getting me so far. Um, you soon find that even though teachers are not particularly well respected by the general populace, population I should say, um, it was time for me to get my master's. So I went back and got my master's from a university in the area. Um, I'm in Southwest Virginia, so small liberal arts college. You can probably guess what that is, and then a somewhat um, famous university in the area that's not Virginia Tech. I'll let you put two and two together. But I decided to go get my master's. Got my master's. Been teaching a few college courses here and there. Um, I teach the dual enrollment courses at the school I teach at, so I, I, I'm pretty happy. I'm teaching a lot of math. My brain goes everywhere throughout the day. I also like literature. I'm a math teacher who likes literature. Now, if you're going to force me to read something, let's say, in a master's program or a high school program, I, I would hate you. Couldn't stand you. You required me to read too much. But, as I've gotten older, sometimes escapism is a thing. And you totally want to escape reality. And the best way to escape reality is read a book. Uh, I have a personal library of, of over a thousand books. Now, out of those 1,000 books, I have probably read um, about 500 of them. Um, so, I do need to get reading, you know. But, I have this tendency to go to old bookshops and be like, ah, oh, books. So, I end up buying like six or seven books. And eventually, I read them, but it takes me a long time. And I also have a tendency to go back to books that I really liked. Um, quite partial to The Hunger Games, Harry Potter, Please Don't Hate Me. <sighs> Jurassic Park is a really great book. It's a better book than movie. Because a lot more people die. Alright? So you need to read that book. Read the book. Don't watch the movie. Watch the movie too because the movie is one of my top five. Um, I've currently read October Sky or Rocket Boys. Great book. I use that in my classroom quite regularly. Um, so, to teach parabolas. I'm almost to the point of which I have moved Disappointment Diaries of Johnny Ray of the Mountains to a different location. So, back when I was becoming more popular as a Snap Story, I had to find a place closer to where I lived. And to find that, I looked around, and I looked in my neighborhood, like I said, and I found a nice little place where I would be able to park my car and just talk. Um, most of the Disappointment Diaries... Uh, are filmed after 7 p.m. So there's always like, it's always darker. I'm using my vehicle's uh, lights as a lighting source because I always forget to get my ring light and put in my car, which would be perfect because it would light itself with, you know, the USB, whatever. But that being said, had to find a new place and I found it. Now, before I show you, I have to tell you a little bit of backstory. When I was younger, there was a gentleman who owned a piece of land. He sold said piece of land, and they built a large building on said piece of land. 
conveniently putting on the road they had to build a nice little cul-de-sac. The cul-de-sac usually has houses around it, but this one has a logging trail. So, I essentially go to this cul-de-sac, which is the entrance to the... Uh, sorry, I had to move the camera because you don't need to see exact locations. Um, but there's a logging trail at this cul-de-sac. So I just park there and look at the trees and get sad when some of the trees are no longer there. But it's just what it is. It is what it is. But anyway... Okay, so this is where I park, and this is the logging trail. And as you can see, I don't go any further than the cattle guard there. So, long story short, here we are. You have know, now know a little bit of the history of Johnny Ray of the Mountains, the Disappointment Diaries. I've taken you to some key locations to where Johnny Ray began. And I hope that I didn't bore you with some of my math talk. And for those of you that have watched the podcast in the next episode of The Disappointment Diaries of Johnny Ray of the Mountains, we're going to reprise one of the more popular episodes of the podcast. We're going to talk about your antagonists. Because every protagonist has an antagonist. And I have updates to my high school antagonist. If you know, you know. Because apparently, she still be judging me. Anyway... Y'all have a great day. This has been the Disappointment Diaries of Johnny Ray of the Mountains. Also, one last thing. The next two episodes are going to be reprise episodes from the podcast. Then, I'm going to do something totally new. I'm going to tell you about my hobby hut. And then once I tell you about my hobby hut, it'll be time for you to meet Wastelander Johnny. Because Johnny Ray of the Mountains is somewhat multiple personality. So Wastelander Johnny will be making an appearance in three episodes. However, Wastelander Johnny might not be as nice as Johnny Ray of the Mountains. See you soon. Have a great day.